and salutations, humans. Welcome back to Curious Things. Sorry, I haven't posted in like two months. It's been a while, so yeah. So as you can see, I have got today. Oh, let me look closer. I have got on this fabulous masterpiece a kind woman at Mac got, I mean, did it, did this makeup for me. And I was really, really, really excited because I got to buy most of the products that she used on me. And so I'm really excited to share these with you guys. And yeah, so we've got bases, we've got two eyeshadow palettes, got one lip gloss, and a lot of um, various things that I haven't ever used before. So here we go. Here we go. Greetings. Oh, I don't really have to say that every time, do I? All right. So welcome back to the makeup unboxing. I'm really excited to see this stuff. Really excited for you guys to see this stuff. And it's going to be pretty fun. So, ooh. So this is... What is this? Oh, Prep and Prime Fix. She used it. It's um, It's got aloe in it and like cucumber. It's really nice. It's like a skin hydration. So let's see. Ooh, it's called Fix. Oh, Fix Plus. Let's see. Yeah, I'll read you the ingredients. Yeah, Soothing Moisturizer Mist that refreshes the skin and finishes makeup. Fancy, yeah, so she used this on me like first things first and also she used it to spray off some brushes so it would, um, it would be more concentrated and it wouldn't go down all over my face. So this is really nice. This is some really good stuff, really good stuff. Oh, by the way, I'll have a link to Mac's website in the um, description below and um yeah you can try to find some of the stuff i mean you know i will i can't have the links to the exact products but you can try to find some of this stuff that i show you on here because a lot of the stuff they just got in so here we go next thing this is the prep and prime natural radiance thing oh it's this lotion yeah i put this on while i was there it's this lotion that you put on to kind of Prep. It's just a, you know, um, eyeshadow prep. Um, I got some of that too. This is like face prep, ready for like foundation and other things. Yeah, this is nice. It doesn't need that much <laughs> explanation. It's like really soft. I try it out. Um, next thing. This is, oh, the water weight. This is the water weight um, foundation stuff. Some nice concealer to, oh, I forgot this. This is actual concealer. All right, oh, I just got a text. Okay, so I got this really nice um, water weight foundation, got SPF 30 in it. This is really nice. Oh, it's from the Mac Studio too. I think all of this stuff is. Um, so let's see what is in it. Yeah, this is really nice for, um, like just blending um, the entire face together and just adding like a base layer to your like whole look. And then, yeah, so this is a really nice product that is like essential for every like super glam face. So the next product we have is the Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. Ooh. I really need this. I got a lot of acne, but you can't see it right now because I'm wearing the concealer. Uh huh. That, that wasn't really funny, but I'm trying to make it funny, but yeah, it, it didn't work. You guys aren't laughing. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. this stuff is really good. This is really good stuff. Oh, hey, baby. Oh, she's napping. Okay. Let's see. Studio fix. Yep. Already read that. Oh, it's probably in the package. Ooh, 
yeah, this is really nice. This is to put over my like acne spots and conceal. Oh, also, actually, the first thing she used it for, um, right under my eyes, and it was really nice. Oh, yeah, look, super nice stuff. This is yeah. I have a friend who wears concealer, and before she wore it, she had so much acne, but now. She looks really good, and without it even. It's like starting to go away, it's magical. Um, all right. <gasps> MAC Mineralize, Skin Finish Natural. Whoa, this is like a finish, and this is to, this is why I got this. Ooh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys. That's why I got this really nice brush right here with a light tip. It's good for um, like strokes and stippling. And so it's really good for that kind of stuff. And then, oh, this brush too. This one's really nice for kind of all of this stuff to just smooth, smooth it out. This one's for getting it on there. This one's for smoothing everything out. This is, can also be used for blush and things like that. And, um, blotting out like splotchy parts so let's see this is it's like skin finish so this would go above my um cheek on my cheekbone and then it would go around the apple of my cheek and kind of in an s shape up onto my hairline and so it looks really nice it's almost like a bronzer sort of but not really and it, yeah, it like gives your face a lot of, like I have it on right now, a lot of um, contour and like nice fading, like from darker to lighter above. Oh, it's also good for, to pronounce your, t your um, T nose and your forehead and your jawbone. So it's really nice for all that stuff. Okay, so we have gotten through all of the base face. Ooh, that was a good run. The base face stuff. And so now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. And that's going to be really fun too. So Welcome yeah. back everyone. It's time for eyeshadow. It's my favorite part of the whole thing. Nobody was singing with me, but that's fine. I'm a lone wolf. Okay, you know what? We just, let's just keep going. Okay, so we wait wait I'm gonna include an eyebrow thing in here can't see what it is yet though oh, that's, okay. here we go so I made this custom palette for myself I'm really proud of it I mean no I didn't really make it but I told her I wanted pink and like sunset colors and she made the, me this really nice four color palette and so I'm gonna use it Definitely for like simple makeup, but also very vibrant as you can see there were like everybody's so nice there Seriously, you need to go into that store and everyone's gonna be like hi. What can I help you with? It's kind of like lush But not lush because it's makeup. I mean it's still cosmetic. I'm ranting. Okay, let's keep going so We have this it's really nice got that clear top so you can see right in there those colors a little dark in here right now so um, yeah, got those really nice colors. Ooh, ooh, this is the one that they used on my eyes. So like real quick, I'm gonna bring you really like up close. I'm gonna take my glasses off. So you can see I've got this really nice eye like a blend right here. And it looks really good, especially with the wingtip eyeliner. I forgot to buy that somehow. It's really weird. Um, so I'm going to set you guys back up there. If that'll stay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Where were we? Oh, yes. We were on this palette. So this is a really, 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 really nice palette. Um, and yeah, it's super nice. It's completely MAC too. Got these nice colors on the front it's from Art Library and it's called Flamboyant or Flamboyant. That's a good pun. Uh -huh. Flamboyant. Okay. So we have got, if I can get it open. Yep. 
Woohoo! Oh my gosh, they're so pretty! Whoa! So I'll read the names of the colors at fir first. So, what's the pointillism? Samoa silk, amber lights, La Vida Mocha, I love that one. Dada issues, Rule, Dollywood, Embark, Fan the Flames, Flamboyant, uh -huh, just like the front. Louvre at first sight, everyone's darling. That is a good, this is nice. Let me show you. It's pretty good. Got all those really nice bright colors at the bottom, fading up to the lighter colors at the top, which you're gonna wanna use for like, you know, as I said, the crease of your eye going downwards and over on this side. So that is really, really good for that kind of stuff. All right, moving on. That was Art Library Flamboyant. By the way, I'm too lazy to put all the um, names of the products in the description. So you're just gonna have to listen through the video if you really want the thing that I showed you. So yeah, sorry. Sorry, it's just me. <laughs> okay, um, oh, I forgot to do this eyebrow thing. Okay. Eyebrow styler, crayon source, how do you pronounce that? Sorcels? Le leave it in the comments below. How do you pronounce S-O-U-R-C-I-L-S? I, -S? I want to know real bad. So that's the nice color that it gives you. It kind of matches my eyebrows. I have it on right now. She like taught me how to make it really, really nice, like how to brush in everything. This thing has a brush on its end actually. So. This is gonna be really nice. Let me take it out. Come on. Woo, this is really nice. Look at that. Very fancy. It's got that double cap, one for the brush and one for the pencil. And I also got a really nice pencil sharpener. Let me take that out. Ah. Really nice pencil sharpener. Whoa. Yeah, so we've got a big one for like bigger pencils and a smaller one for smaller pencils. And then at the top, there's all your pencil shavings. And at the bottom, oh, that's where the pencil shavings go. Never mind. So really nice. Got MAC on it. It's a really nice one. So let's see. Yeah, I'm just about finished with that section. And now we are going, oh, I have this too. This is In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara Volume A Courbour. Leave how to pronounce that in the comments too. Um, so we have MAC, yeah, it's all, it's all like completely MAC, I guess. Most of the stuff in MAC is, uh-huh. Um, and yeah, it's really nice to use it on me. It's like, whoa, didn't even know like the thing looked like this. Look, looks like some sort of, ah, uh, meh, it's a, it's a meh. Yep, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> So let's open this. I really want to just look at it. Ooh, this is so nice. I love the color. The color is really, it's really shiny. It's a super nice one. So that and okay, yep. Now we are going to be moving on to, oh, lips. And I got a lot of lips on right now, so. I'll show you in the next section. Bye bye. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Sorry, I have to keep going over there. I have like to unpause the recorder. Um, so let this. This is the lip section, and I have got big lips right now. Usually, if you saw the first video, my lips are not this big. I mean, I want them to be, but they're not.
Don't let anyone know. My lips are actually really, really small. All right, never mind. Never mind. I almost dropped it. Okay, so. Um, what I'm wearing, I have like a new thing that I haven't even tried yet. It's a cherry lip liner. And so I was taught today that like lip liner is to kind of like shape your lips so they're easier to get the lipstick on. You always want it to match the um, lipstick and lip gloss because otherwise it's like, ugh, like you got, I don't know, blue lip, like pinky green blue lipstick and like red lip liner and it just looks really weird. So um, I didn't get any lip prep, forgot to. I forgot like everything except for the basic, basic things. So let's take a look at the lip pencil. This one is called Spice. It's this really nice like brown color. I and mean, this is, that's the one I'm wearing right now. Um, so let's look at this. Ooh, this is really nice. Let me take the cap off. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like a brown colored pencil. I mean, yeah. It does, it just does. Wow, that is really nice. I'm really excited to use this. This is gonna be fancy. All right, next up we have Cherry Lip Pencil. I do not have this one on right now, but I'm really excited to look at it. All right, Cherry Lip Pencil. Look at that color. That color is really, really, really nice for like a deep red or even a bright red, it could work. It would look, yeah, it's gonna look real nice. Let's take a look at the pencil. It's so fine. It like, they make it so like perfectly. There's like no problems with the packages or anything. It's really nice. So that is a really, really, really nice one. The deep red, it's just like a, like a, Candied cherry, really. Um, okay, here is the last product, probably my favorite, except for the eyeshadow. Really love eyeshadow. Um, the last product is bum 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 bum. Yeah, we have da 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 lip. It says lip glass on the package. But um, I think it's supposed to be lip gloss. No, they wouldn't make a mistake like that. I don't know. Probably just a fancier word for it. So shiny. Oh, that was my mother back there. Okay. You don't want to be on YouTube, do you, Mom? I'm just adding helpful hints from back here. Yep. Thank you. You're like my. I don't know, my something. Like, you know those guys on the big fancy shows where like, like the Michael Berry show or something. And my mom is my Ramon. And Ramon is the guy who like films everything and does all the sound and basically helps him. He's like his personal assistant. So yeah, my dad listens to that all the time and it's really annoying. I kind of hate that show. Okay, anyways, um, this is the, wait, I forgot the name of it. This is the Shape Shifting Peach. So, oh, I see why it's shape shifting now. So, from afar, it just like looks like an orange, nice, it's really like sparkly, nice lip gloss. But as you get it closer, it kind of starts to get like a different, like more reddish pink color. And so it's like very vibrant and it'll keep your looks, lips look like, looking really full and shiny and really nice. So yeah, that is about it for today. That's all I have for you. Yeah, so um, yeah, I got all this garbage and I'm really excited because when I finish some of this stuff, if I get, I think it's like six empty containers that I can take back, I get a free, eyeshadow, lip gloss, or lipstick. 
And I'm really excited about that. So that's gonna be nice. Oh, I got so much trash. I'm just gonna put it in a pile right here. Uh, that didn't really work. Okay, it's fine. So thank you guys for watching. Um, and that's all. Oh, by the way, my birthday's coming up. So just please, for my birthday, just watch this video or give it a like or something like that. That'd be, that would be nice. Um, give me a comment maybe saying happy birthday, Theo. That would be really nice too. Okay, um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time on Curious Things. Bye-bye. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Bye.